everybody and nearly all of us have played games, video games and some games on computer as children and some of us adults still continue to do so. Have you ever wondered how is this complex piece of software made? Who designs these games? What skills are required to make these games? So that's our episode today on game designing. Welcome to Career Club. wanted to be the originator of a game, then game designer is the career for you. So what is exactly game designing all about? Game designing involves a lot of interdisciplinary and many related fields put together, which includes computer programming, coding, writing skills, graphic designing and even animation. So there are many fields which are related and required to enter this field as a game designer. These game designers are actually bringing life to video games. That's what they are actually doing. One may be playing it on the smartphones, mobiles, computers, and even now the new social gaming that's coming up very strongly. So these are the areas and these are the things that actually a game designer does. To deal a little more in depth of what a game designer actually does, one needs to understand that there's going to be a little bit of coding, programming. They also do a lot of creative work Coming up with characters, they come up with a plot, they come up with levels, they come up with puzzles, they come up with a lot of points. Who's going to the next level? They also get into storytelling. All this is a part of game design. To ensure that their vision of the game really takes shape, understanding of various programming languages, platforms is an added advantage. A lot of youngsters feel that since they have been an avid user of games or they have been playing games for a long time, they will be in a position to design a game. Is that true? Maybe yes, maybe no. The fact is that being an avid game player helps you to understand as a consumer what a person actually looks forward to or what makes the per a person, a user, hooked on to that game. From this perspective, yes, it helps being an avid game player. But actually to become a designer, you need to have concept, you need to have an idea, you need to know where your game is going, what are the rules, because actually you are going to set the rules. So you've got to understand that. Also, not to forget that these games are played across the globe by different genders, different age groups. So how do you ensure that you keep them hooked on to your game is the skill that is required. So if you looked at yourself objectively as a player, as an avid game player, it will definitely be an advantage while designing a game. So if you want to go solo, become an individual uh, game designer, it's possible. But then understand if you're going to be solo, everything needs to be taken care of by you, whether it's the technical or the creative field. So be prepared for that. And if not, then be prepared to take off the basics, take care of the basics that are required because you're going to be a part of the entire team which designs the game. So you might be just thinking about the levels of how many gold coins or how many benefits the character or the winner is going to win or lose. So keep that in mind. I hope this has been informative. You start looking at game design from a different perspective and look at it pretty seriously because honestly, designing a game is not a child's play. Keep subscribing to Career Growth and enjoy the episodes.